Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. Uh, today's a lower body day, but we're going to do our six in one workout. We haven't done one of these in a long time. So it's going to be high paced, fast paced, high intensity. We're going to go, go, go and get it done. So you're going to need a couple of sets of dumbbells if you have them or whatever you have, and we'll get started. So our warm up, we're going to do 30 on 10 off. We're going to do six exercises, two rounds. I'll show you those exercises now. And don't mind me, I slept funny. That's what happens after you turn 40. Apparently you sleep funny and then your back hurts. So my back hurts, so I'm gonna do my best. Bear with me. So the first exercise is a jumping jack. So just a regular jack. If you cannot do a jack, you can do a step jack. The next exercise is a snatch. So you're gonna pick up one heavy dumbbell between your legs, pop it up. We're gonna do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Then we're going to move into our lunge and twist. So you're going to lunge back, keep your back knee up off the floor, twist to the leg in front. Then we're going to do a rocket push up. So we're going to come down, tricep push up, sit back. And then you're going to come down into your tummy in a Superman position. And we're going to move our arms around a little bit. Oh, we have a friend. Just a minute. We'll get started. Good morning, friend. All right. Um, we just, I just started explaining the warm ups. You can mute yourself and you can join us. All right. So, our warm up, we're going to do 30 on 10 off. That was so weird. I just undid my zipper and it felt like I wasn't wearing a shirt. <laughs> I had to look down and make sure I was wearing a shirt. That was really weird. Okay. We're going to do our warm up. We're going to start with 30 seconds of jumping jacks. So, we are on in three, two, one. Here we go. So, 30 seconds of jumping jacks. So, warming up your whole body. Lengthen up the top of your head. Remember, if you cannot do a jumping jack, you can do a step jack instead. Warm up your shoulders. Pay attention to how your body is feeling this morning, especially if you're just getting out of bed or if you've been sitting at a desk. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, pick up a heavy dumbbell. We're gonna do snatches. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other. Three, two, here we go. 30 seconds. Sit down nice and low. Pop up nice and high. Make sure you can see the screen the whole time. And we're gonna stay on one arm for 30 seconds. Good. So sit low into those hips. Reach up nice and high. Wake up those shoulders, wake up your abs. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, we're gonna do that on the other side. So sitting down nice and low. Three, two, here we go. Pull that weight nice and close to your body, big reach. Remember, you're using your whole body to lift that weight up over your head. Nice work. Notice how this feels. Any extra areas or areas that need extra attention? Four, three, Two, one. All right, we're gonna come into that lunge and twist. So I keep that back knee up. Three, two, here we go, we're gonna lunge. Bring those arms to the front, twist to the leg in front. Feel the strength in your front leg. I feel the stretch down front of your back leg. Twisting through the torso, waking up the shoulders, relax the neck. Nice work. Sit into that front hip, front heel. Get your balance and then twist. Three, two, one. Our next two exercises are on the floor. So we're gonna do a rocket push up. You want your hands right underneath your shoulders. There we go. We're gonna do a tricep push up and then sit back into a child's pose. So you're welcome to do this from your knees or your toes. And you can take a couple of breaths. 
in that stretched back position. Good. So hinging forward in that push up. Sitting back, stretching on the back and the lats. Three, two, one. All right, stay down. Our last exercise, you're going to come into a super person. So I'm going to extend your arms up in front of you. Squeeze your bum. And you're just going to move your arms around your head and torso in a circle. So I keep your bum engaged. Legs engaged. You're not arching your back or anything. Your head and neck are neutral, so you're looking at the ground. You're just creating some contraction through the bum and the lats and moving your arms along the floor in a nice big circle around your torso and your head. Three, two, one. All right, come on up. We're gonna start from the top with our jumping jack. So yes, for our warm-up today, we're only doing two rounds. So I want you to pick it up here. Here we go. Jumping jacks. Wake up the shoulders. Wake up those hips. Wake up your brain. You're gonna get a lot of information today. We're doing our six in one workout. So six mini workouts, which also means we're not doing a separate conditioning. Our conditioning is built right in. Yay. Three, two, one. Nice. Pick up your dumbbell. We're gonna do those snatches on one side and then the other. So sit down nice and low into the hips. Here we go. So you can make these as explosive as your body needs to get warm. Sit low into the hips, explode up through the legs. Pop that weight up. Pull the belly button in. Nice. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, switching arms. Four, three, two, here we go, other side. Good. Sit low into those legs. Pop up nice and high. Nice smooth motion using your whole body. Lots of fun exercises today in our workout. It's an upper body focus. Three, two, one. But we've definitely got some total body and core in there as well. Lunge and twist. Four, three, two. Here we go. Lunge back. Pause. Get your balance. Then twist. Remember that balance is super important. Wake up those legs. Awesome. 10 seconds. Slow and controlled. Three, two, one. Nice. All right, come down to the floor. We're going to do that rocket push up. Three, two. Here we go. So hands are right underneath your shoulders, elbows tucked. Rock forward into that push up and then sit back into the modified child's pose, stretching out your back, waking up your elbows, your wrists, and your shoulders. Awesome work. Three, two, one. All right, you're going to stay down on your tummy. Squeeze your bum, you're gonna extend your arms straight up in front of you along the floor. Tuck your chin. And now we move our arms in a big circle along the floor. So waking up the shoulders in all directions. Keep your bum squeezed, you're not arching your back. Tuck your chin so your spine and neck are neutral. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Nice. All righty. Grab a 
quick drink. So like I promised, we are gonna do our six in one workouts, so six mini workouts. Our first workout is the exact same format as what we just did, 30 on, 10 off. So I really want you to work during that 30 seconds because it's a short interval. And we're gonna do three rounds of these little exercises. So we're gonna start low and work our way to standing. So the first exercise is a wide push-up. So your arms are wide, I want you to come onto your toes if you can, so we're only working for 30 seconds. So 30 seconds, beep. Sumo bicep curl. And then we're gonna come onto our knees and do a zipper press. So alternating arms. So each of those exercises we're gonna do for 30 seconds. I want you to work as hard as you can with good form. We're doing three rounds. So let's get started. Coming down onto the floor, we're gonna get into a push-up position. I want your arms wide, like wider than your mat. You wanna to try to keep your elbows out. Stay on your toes as long as you can. Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Wide push-ups, 30 seconds. Hands are wide, elbows are wide. Stay on your toes as long as you can. Try to touch your chest to the floor. We're halfway through, squeeze your bum. Pull your belly button in. Five, four, three, Two, one. All right, come on up into that sumo position. Knees and toes are wide, elbows are inside your knees. Here we go. Three, two, you're gonna bicep curl. So stay low. You can curl both arms at the same time or one at a time, whatever feels good. Sit the weight back into the hips. If you need to stand up and shake out your legs at any time, please do. Keep those wrists neutral. Remember, we're trying not to swing the weights up. Five, four, three, two. Good, stand up. We're gonna hinge forward. Bend the knees. Palms face each other. We're gonna roll one arm at a time. Three, two, here we go. Elbows go straight back. Good, nice and quick. Nice and strong, pull your belly button in. Good. 10 seconds. Check your abs. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna come back onto our knees. If you cannot kneel, you can stay standing. Squeeze your bum, we're gonna alternate press, palms face each other, here we go. Zipper press. Check your abs on this one. Squeeze your bum and hamstrings. Relax your neck. So that movement comes from the shoulders, not by shrugging. Good work. Five, four, three, two, all right, no rest here, ladies. Come back into that push-up position. Hands are wide. Three, two, here we go, 30 seconds. Squeeze your bum. Stay up on your toes as long as you can. Chest to floor. Pull your belly button in. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, grab those weights, come up into that sumo position. Knees wide, elbows on the insides of the knees. Three, two, here we go. Sumo hold, bicep curl. Good, try not to swing those weights up. Pull them towards you with your biceps. 
Shoulders are back. Nice work, everyone. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Stand up nice and tall. We're going to hinge forward. Back is flat. Palms face each other. Three, two. Here we go. We're going to roll those elbows back. Your back is as flat as you can get. You're hinging from the hip. Legs are soft. Pull those elbows straight back. Using the muscles between your shoulder blades. Check your abs. 10 seconds, you can do it. Four, three, two. All right, come into that kneeling position. If it doesn't work for your knees, you can stay standing. Bring your hands up, squeeze your bum, alternating press. So palms face each other. This is called a zipper press. Nice and smooth, nice and quick. So as one comes up, the other goes down. So we're not pausing at the bottom at all. We're always in motion. Check your abs, squeeze your bum. Nice work, Jasmine, looks good. Five. Four, three, two. All right, last time through, stay down. Nice wide push ups. See if you can stay on your toes as long as you can. Three, two, here we go. Slow and controlled. Chest to floor. Good work, everybody. Halfway there. 10 seconds, check your glutes, check your abs. Five, four, three, two. Good work, grab your weights, come into that sumo position. Knees and toes wide, elbows inside the knees. Here we go, two, one, girl. So palms up, wrists neutral. All those weights towards you, and yes, you can do one arm at a time or both. Sit low into those hips. Feel the strength in your glutes holding you up. Awesome. Four, three, two. Beautiful. Come to standing, shake it out. Whew. Shoulders back. Hinge forward, stick your bum out. Here we go. Two, one. Roll those elbows back. Elbows go straight back. Check your abs. Nice work. Back is flat. Tuck your chin. You got it. We've done these before. You know what to do. Your body knows what to do. Four, three, two. Last exercise of the circuit, kneeling zipper press. Remember, kneeling doesn't work for you. You can stay standing. Palms face each other. Three, two, smooth. Check your abs. Smooth. <laughs> Remember the movement comes from your shoulders, not shrugging your neck. Nice work. <laughs> Good, 10 seconds, you can do it. You can do it. Squeeze your bum, pull your belly back in. Four, three, two, awesome. All right, grab a quick drink. We're gonna move on to our next mini workout. It's a six minute MRAP. So that means we're gonna do as many rounds as you can in six minutes. Rounds of what? Let me show you. All right, so the first two exercises are chops, and you're gonna do them on each side. So you're gonna hold your axe from the top, and it can be a chop, a slap shot, or a golf swing. It just depends on how your brain and body connect. So eight on one side. Switch the handle on top. Eight on the other. Then we're gonna do these really fun Counter swing squats, we've done them before, so knees close together, walk the weights up, swing into a squat, eight of those, and then eight, ground to 
overhead. So you're gonna do that as many times as you can in six minutes. Eight chops, eight chops, eight counter swings, eight rounds overhead. Yes? Good. All right, so grab your axe or your golf club or your whatever it is. We're on five, four, three, two. Here we go. So eight chops from one side. So this time, ladies, you're counting your own reps. So you're chopping across your body, right to left. Then we do the other side, left to right. Eight on one side, bend your knees, you're using your whole body. Nice. Then you're gonna pick up, ooh, that's okay. Knees are close together, you squat back, swing those legs up. So eight chops per side, eight counter squat swings, eight ground to overhead. Nice. Relaxing those swings, allow the momentum to pop those waist up. Nice. Good work. All right, eight chops per side. <laughs> eight counter swings. Eight ground to overhead. Woo. Keep going. So remember that chop comes from one side to the other. It can be a slap shot, a wood chop, a golf swing, whatever makes sense in your body. Hold on tight. Relax as much as you can into the movement. So bend your knees, relax your arms, use the momentum to pull that weight across and decelerate it. Whew. Eight chops, eight counter swings. You can do it. And then eight rounds overhead. Good work, good work. Keep moving. Remember during these ab wraps, the objective is to get in as many rounds as you can at whatever pace is challenging. You can also get a drink at any time. We're halfway through our six minutes. Nice work. Eight chops per side, eight counter swings, eight ground overhead. Keep it up. Try and get in another two full rounds. Good, hold on tight to your axe. Keep it up. Nice work, nice work. Nice and smooth, nice and relaxed. Relax your neck. Good work, good work. Strong upper body, strong core. Awesome work. Good, good, good. All right, we got about two minutes to go. Let's see if we can get in another full round. Maybe a little bit of bonus reps. Here we go. Eight chops per side, eight counter swings, eight ground to overhead. Use that upper body, use your core. You can do it. Awesome. Chopping across the body. Use the abs at the top. Good work. Woo. Nice. 
Moving at a speed that is challenging, but in control. Nice. Looking good. Looking strong. Looking focused. Keep moving. Awesome work. Use your abs and those ground to overhead. Woo! 23 seconds. Keep moving. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Woo! Three, two, one. Nice. All right. Grab a quick drink. So, awesome. How are we doing? Our next mini workout is a Tabata. So, more high intensity. This one, we're going to do 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds rest. As hard and as fast as you can. Three times back to back. Then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. So I'll show you what those exercises are now. They're pretty fun. And you bet they're not your body focus. So the first one is a plank jump in. So I'm gonna have my hands on some weights just because I need that extra depth in my wrist, but you don't have to do that. You're gonna be in a plank, jump the feet in, out. So 20 seconds, we rest, then we do it again. Three times total. Now we're going to come onto our backs. Sprint your sit up. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Three times. Then we burpee. Of course. Three times 20. Then you're going to pick up your weights. Push press. Three times 20. Yes? Okay. So we're going to start with those plank jump in. So come on down into a plank position. If these do not work for your back, you can stay standing and do a high knees variation. Ready? All right, 20 seconds, all in. Three, two, one. Here we go. So plank, jump the feet in, jump out, in, out, in. Nice and quick, nice and light on the feet. Try to take those feet all the way back. Three, two, rest. Woo, we're gonna do that all again. In five, four, three, two, here we go. Pull the belly button in and out, go. Relax your neck, look down at the floor, feet up and in. I jump my feet wide, whatever feels good for your hips. Three, two, one. Last time. Nice and quick. Then we're gonna flip right over onto our backs. Three, two, here we go. Good, good, good. Ten seconds. Three, two, flip over onto your back, sprint your sit up. So I need to bend one leg straight, crunch up, bring both arms down. Two, here we go. If this does not work for you, you can do a bicycle crunch. Four, three, two, one. Nice, rest. Doing that again. So remember, this is high intensity. You know, it's just an ab exercise. Three, two, here we go. Pull your belly button in. Push your back into the floor. Ten seconds, you can do it. Three, two, rest one more time. Then we 
we come up for burpees. Four, three, two, here we go. Check your abs, pull your belly button in. Lengthen, arms and legs in that extended position. Crunch one leg up with both arms. Five, four, three, two, come on up. Woo! Burpees, same format. Three, two, here we go. Three times 20. So doing whatever variation of the burpee works for you. All the way down, all the way up. Maybe you do step, 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 step. Big jump at the top, whatever works. Two, one, rest. All right, two more rounds. Nice work, everyone. Three, two, here we go. Good work, good work. Nice and quick, nice and powerful. You can do it. Two, one. One more time. Then we come up and do our push press. Four. Last for beast. Two. Here we go. Good work. Woo, 10 seconds. Finish it up. Three, two. All right, push press, grab your heavy dumbbells. Remember, push press, you use your legs. You pop those weights up. Three, two, here we go. So it's not a shoulder press. You use your legs, use the momentum, dip, drop. My knees bend. I sit slightly into my hips. Relax your neck. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Those get me every time. All right, rest. We're gonna do that again. Two, here we go. Bend those knees. Use your whole body, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. One more time. One more time. Whew. You can do it. Three, two, here it is. Last exercise for our Tabata workout. Keep going. Strong legs, strong arms. Four. Three, two, one. Woo. All right, grab a drink. Keep moving. We're gonna move on to our next mini workout, which is another circuit. So if you have lighter dumbbells, you may want these for one of our workout or work exercises. Otherwise, you can just use what you have. So we're gonna go back to about 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, three rounds through. So remember you're working as hard as you can. So the first exercise is a lunge with raise. So we've done these before, lunge back to the front, lunge back, waist to the side. So front, side. Now we're gonna move into a curtsy lunge with a bicep curl. Bombs up, elbows at the side, curtsy, curtsy. Then we're gonna sit down, <sighs> legs straight, shoulder press, so zipper press. Then you're gonna flip over, tricep push up. So hands are right underneath the shoulders, close together. Elbows graze the body on the way up and on the way down. Yes? All right, come on up. We're gonna start with our lunge with 
and raise. So you can use whatever weights you feel are appropriate. Ready? And three, two, here we go. So lunge back, raise the arms to the front. Lunge back, raise the arms to the side. So remember these intervals are short. So you wanna move a bit more quickly than we normally would. Relax your neck. Sit into the legs. Relax your neck. Remember the shoulders are a push muscle group. So you wanna push those weights up. Five, four, three, two, all right, grab some bicep friendly weights. Elbows tight to your side, palms up. Four, three, two. We're gonna curtsy back, curl up. So in that curtsy, step wide, bend both knees, sit into the front hip, push up through the front heel. Elbows stay tight to your side, wrists neutral, palms up. 10 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two. Come on down to the floor, have a seat. Legs extend out in front of you. Just a regular shoulder press. Palms face each other or out. Here we go. Both arms, legs are active, abs are engaged. Relax the neck. Slow and controlled. 10 seconds. Pull your belly button in. Relax your neck. Three, two. All right. Flip onto your front. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders so your arms are quite close together. You can be on your knees or your toes. Here we go. Bend the elbows, straighten the elbows. Tricep push-up. Chest to floor, elbows close to the body. Elbows go straight back. Elbows are close to the body. Knees or toes. Four, three, two, one, all right, come on up. Lunge and raise. Nice work, everyone. Quick transitions, we got this. Three, two, there we go. Push, push those arms up. Push those arms up. Relax the neck. Nice. Sit into that front hip. Push up through the front heel. You got it. Those arms might be getting tired. That's what we want. Three, two, one. Curtsy curl. So bring those elbows tight to your side, palms up. Three, two, here we go. So bring that back knee behind. Bend both knees. Sit into the front hip. Push up through the front heel. Keep your elbows locked to your side. Palms up. Palms up. If you only have really light dumbbells and you want to challenge yourself more, you can keep your arms at 90 like this the whole time. Three, two, have a seat. Z press. So legs are straight. Three, two, here we go. Shoulder press. Engage your legs. Abs are on. Relax your neck. You got it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, all right, flip over. Hands right into the shoulders. Tricep push-ups. 
Sit up nice and tall at the top, and you're rolling up and down your spine. Once you're done eight of those, you'll flip over into a plank. You're gonna crunch opposite knee to opposite elbow, eight per side, keep your bum down. So these are not mountain climbers, they're slow and controlled crunches. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Eight per leg. Then you'll come into that side plank. So shoulder over elbow. The whole top of your body is a straight line. Reach, crunch. Make sure that top arm and leg are fully extended before you crunch them back across in that side plank. So reach, crunch, elbow to knee, reach. So opening up the whole front of the body. And if you want to make this more challenging, you can be on your hand and your foot instead of your knee and your elbow. Awesome. Once you've done eight per side, you're gonna grab that heavy dumbbell again. Straight arms, straight legs, sit up. Eight reps. Good work. Nice work. Keep moving. Focus in on those abs. Eight straight arms, straight legs, sit ups. Woo! Those will get you. Then come into that nice strong plank. Eight knee crunches per side. Keep that bum down. Good work. <coughs> Ooh. Once you've done those, come into that side leg. Remember, you can make this as challenging as you need. Good work. So we very seldom do just abs because our abs don't work just by themselves. They work in conjunction with a whole bunch of other muscles. So that's what we're doing here. We're focusing on using the core in big movement patterns. Big crunches, big reaches, big lifts. Slow everything down during this circuit. You want to focus in on your form. You got two minutes left. See if you can get in another full round, or maybe another round plus. Straight arms, straight legs, sit up. And by no means should you be cooling down during this circuit. This should be challenging and sweaty. Slow and controlled. Pull that belly button in and everything you do, lengthen up the top of your head. So make your body oof, as long as possible in every rep. So eight straight arms, straight leg sit-ups. Eight crunches in the mountain climbing position per leg. Eight side crunches per side. Good work. We got this team, we got this. We got about a minute left. Oof. Remember to lengthen your whole body. Don't just fly through these, really focus.
Awesome. Oh. Finish strong, friends. We still got one more circuit, and it is gonna be brutal. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Or fun. It's gonna be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Good work, everyone. Get those reps in. Two, one. Nice. All right. Nice. So we are done that circuit. We've got one more to go. I saved the best for last. So this one's another Tabata. So we're gonna go as hard as we can for 20 seconds, three times with each exercise. So we're gonna start with thrusters. Yay! <laughs> so a thruster, you got heavy weights in your hand, you sit all the way down into your hips and explode up with those weights. So it's a squat and a press in one big motion. Then we're gonna come down to that break dancer move. So a kick through. You're in a tabletop position, bring the knees up, kick one leg through, opposite leg, opposite arm. Then the next one's a football feet and drop. We haven't done this one in a while. This one's super fun. So you're gonna shuffle. And I'm gonna say three, two, one. You're gonna come down and up. If you do not want to do the down and up part, you just stay shuffling the whole time. And then the last exercise, you can do with or without a weight. Good old fashioned Russian twist. We haven't done those in ages. All right, so we are gonna start with those thrusters. So we're gonna do 20 on, 10 off, three times each exercise, no rest in between. Thrusters, yes? All right, let's do it. So get those weights. Remember in our Tabata, we work as hard as we can for 20 seconds. Little 10 second breather. Ready? Three. Oh, wait, two, one, here we go. Sit into your hips, big push up. Remember to use your legs, use your legs. Push up through the heels, explode up through the hips. Arms just go for the ride. Four, three, two, woo. I don't mind doing 20 seconds of these. All right, ready? Three, two, round two. Oof. Sit into those hips. Big explosive movement. Three, two, one. Woo. All right, one more time. Ready? Last time with the thrusters. Three, two, here we go. The struggle is real, friends. Grunting helps. Keep going. Two, one. Come down. Kick throughs. Try them if you can, do them, do mountain climbers instead. Two, one, here we go. So in a tabletop, pick up opposite arm, kick opposite leg through. Get a good rhythm. Three, two, rest. Ooh. Two more times. Three, two, here we go. Try them. If you cannot figure it out, do mountain climbers instead. Try something new. Push 
next time. 